Hi guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. I am in a little bit of a new background here. We are obviously in my kitchen. Um, everybody else is upstairs, so I figured I would try and film a quick little update here. So, I would like to start by saying thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. I have no idea how y'all found out about me, but I'm so happy to have you kind of join along in the crazy ride of life that I'm documenting for everybody. I should take this off. My name tag. Good morning. Um, so thank you guys so much for subscribing. Um, if you guys have a channel and I don't check you out or if you have no idea if I check you out or not, feel free to leave your channel name down below. I'm always looking for new VSGers to follow. Um, I get so much like motivation and inspiration from watching other people who are going through the same thing as me. Um, hey, hey, how you doing? Look at the hair. Um, I'm not always like the most up to date. <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> on my video watching and like commenting and everything, but one day I will get caught up. And I just, I like I said, I love watching new people and hearing about their journey and any tips and tricks that y'all have come up with. The food, oh, you guys, why is this my life? Why is this my life? You guys, this is gonna be retarded, I'm so sorry. Okay, um, I love hearing about like tips and tricks y'all have come up with or food ideas, hauls, like just everything. So if you have any a channel, feel free to leave it down below because I am totally your girl. I will subscribe and I will watch eventually. Um, so there you go. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys, honestly and truly. Thank you so much. Um, is this still crooked, you guys? Can you tell me, please? I wish you guys were like real time so you could be like, Arr. nope, we want it to go down. Like, you know, the can't. Oh. How's that? How we doing? How we doing? So, um, I guess we can talk about some stats now, yeah? Um, I gotta get comfortable. Oh. We'll zoom too. This orange lighting just does nothing for my complexion. But anyways, so, um, stat-wise, I am 5'5". Five five. We'll start with that. Um, probably shouldn't start with that. I should say, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on October 12th, 2015 in Lowell Mass at Lowell General Hospital with Dr. Rebecca Shore. Um, I started my journey back in July of last year. It's been almost a year, that's crazy. Um, but that's when I started going, that's when I went to my first seminar, started going to pre-op classes and started losing weight. And on that time, oh, I had too much Halo Top ice cream, you guys. That shit's dangerous. But at the time in July, um, when I first started, I weighed in at 335. My weight on the date of surgery was 300.8. Last week I came to you guys, I had gone up to 217 and something or other. This week I'm 213.4, I weighed in this morning. And um, I think the weight loss is due to a few different things. One is because of all the amazing comments that y'all left in my last video, talking about just switching it up, not sticking to just solely protein because it's just not gonna be good for you. Um, and sometimes your body just needs to kind of be pushed out of a little bit of a funk and we need some variety and it needs to be you know fueled in different ways so i really and truly appreciate every one of you for leaving a comment in my last video for kind of encouraging me and pushing me along and then also giving me some ideas as to what to try um literally i appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know um so we did that and then we also finally pooped um I'm about to get a little bit TMI, and if that is too much for you, um, you can feel free to see yourself out. You can fast forward to probably a few minutes down the line. Uh, you can la 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 for a few seconds here, but I really dealt with constipation in a really hardcore way this week. Uh, the past two weeks, I spent multiple times in the bathroom for hours, literally hours, and there was so much effort put into trying to go to the bathroom. It was literally like a workout. Like I was sweating. This is either sweat or crying. I'm not really sure. It was so painful. It hurt so bad. Not only like the, mm, I don't want to get too TMI on you. Like I feel like if you want the gross details, I'm a girl, like I will be gross with you, but I feel like I don't need to spread that with the whole entire universe. But it was hardcore, like but even before like I had to go to the bathroom, my stomach was hurting, the back of my, my lower back was hurting so bad. 
um, and it just it was so painful and so intense and like I said it was two separate occasions over hours and hours that it happened and I just never want to get there again like I'm not the kind of person who likes to take um, medicine like Tylenol or anything when they get a headache I don't even like I don't like stool softeners like Dolcolax and stuff because I know they say you're not supposed to taste it in your water but just the idea that it's like floating in my water freaks me the fuck out but I'm gonna have to do it I'm gonna have to suck it up because I want to get it out <laughs> you know what I mean so um, that is gonna have to become part of my routine and um, it's unfortunate because it just is and I really feel like that was probably three or four pounds that I uh, had to get out so there you go like I said gross details I'm all for that kind of stuff but I don't know if you are so we'll keep it at that um, another thing that's about it I feel like for weight loss surgery update um I did go on a walk yesterday for with my work for um a cancer walk for a little general hospital the hospital I had my surgery at um they had a three mile and a six mile my boss decided to sign us up for the six mile I thought I had it in the bag and I did really good like it was a huge NSV because not once was I out of breath not once was I in like so much pain that I wanted to die not once was I lagging behind I was the one pretty much keeping the pace and waiting for people to come up behind me and that was an incredible feeling because God only knows I remember back in July when I started like losing weight I would go out on my lunch break and I have a 40 minute lunch break and I would go walk I think I had a video where I walked down the, the boulevard down by the river by my work and I would literally walk maybe a quarter of a mile and I'd had to sit down because the back of uh, my lower back hurt so bad my knees my hips everything was so sore it was just painful and now I go on my lunch break and I can walk a mile and a half no problem and to be able to walk literally six miles without stopping was such a huge NSV for me like I'm so proud of myself for being able to do that because I know that I've built up my endurance. Obviously losing a hundred and something pounds has definitely helped contribute towards that. Um, but it was just an incredible NSV for me to be able to do that. I definitely like came home and died. I like laid on the ground, on the couch, no, on the ground and was just like, oh my God. And today my hips, like my interior hip flexor area is like painful and my knees were a little bit painful, but that was about it. Um, but I was just really so proud of myself to be able to do that. Um, last year I signed up for the three mile and I never showed up because I was just too lazy and I didn't want to do it. So to be able to go from like skipping last year to doing the six mile, I was just really proud of myself. Um, so that was something that, um, I was excited about this weekend. Also, super cool news i got to meet presley forever vsg if you don't know who she is if you're not watching her you totally should i will try my best to link her down below probably not going to happen because i'm not that with it in life i don't have my shit together um but presley forever vsg she's like the coolest chick ever um she lives near me and she was going to be up in my area on saturday i think we met up after work um and it was just so nice to connect with her because obviously like you see each other in the videos i knew i was going to love her because i love her on the videos but just to be able to sit down like we met up at starbucks and we were there for maybe an hour an hour and a half and literally just really connected and it was just so great because i just felt like we've been friends and i think that the connection that we have through VSG is kind of a different connection than you'll find kind of anywhere else. So like we've struggled, all of us out there have struggled the struggle for a good majority of our life of being overweight, of being obese, of do, you know feeling this physical struggle, feeling the emotional, the mental struggles. We've all battled that battle. Then we've battled the decision to get the, the surgery, then going through the surgery and now living a post-op life if you're post-op. We all kind of connect on this incredible level that it's just, not everybody can get and so like in just talking to her and talking about how I talk to my family about it I talk to my boyfriend about it I talk to people around me about it but talking to someone face to face who totally 100% gets what I've gone through with you know the fears of going through surgery with relationship issues of going through surgery with how to tell my family going through surgery like just being able to be with somebody who totally 100% gets that it was just such a cool feeling so Renee, thank you so much for spending the afternoon with me. I honestly absolutely adore you. She brought me some fresh chickens from her. No, I didn't get chickens. I got chicken babies. I got eggs. I feel a little bit bad now that I say that, but I got fresh eggs. Um, she got she got me a little gift, which was so sweet. She even bought my coffee at Starbucks. Like this woman is, is amazing. Um, and then we went to Target and we just did a little shopping. We were looking for some protein bars and stuff. We tried on some bathing suits. Didn't really happen. Okay, my thing is like, I'm trying a one piece bathing suit on, right? 
the top of it goes to here. My nipples are still gonna show people. I can't do that, okay? Then I tried a halter, like one with straps, cause that one was like a strapless one that was down here. The straps were literally that thick. I'm sorry, what? I had boob everywhere. Like boob where I don't even have boob normally. It was coming out of this bathing suit. So I'm still on the hunt. I did tell her that I was telling already that I tried, I went to Kohl's the other day and I tried on bathing suits and they were kind of cute. Too revealing, like the boobs, I'm gonna have issues. And it's not even the boobs, it's like the boob skin I'm gonna have issues with. But like people looking at me are gonna be like, girl, you're a hook, you're a hooker? You're a hoochie mama. And I have kids, I have like boys, like I, they don't need to see that. Um, but I tried on a really cute bathing suit and it's really comfortable and I took it off and I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. I took it off and it was a motherhood maternity. So I almost bought it though. I did almost buy it, but I didn't. I was like, girl, don't do that because no, you can do better than that. You can do better, better. You can do better than a maternity swimsuit. So I didn't buy it, but it was cool to be able to go with her and be like, <laughs> and put it all back. Um, so again, thank you so much, Renee. I honestly, I love you so much. I cannot wait to go down to the Cape. She lives on the Cape. I've never been to the Cape. I live in Massachusetts. I was born and raised in Massachusetts for the most part, and I've never been to Cape Cod. So I can't wait to spend some time on the beach with you in our respectable bathing suits, right? And hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to make it down to Philadelphia. I'm really crossing my fingers. I'm gonna try and ask my boss tomorrow. I'm a little nervous, but um, we're gonna make this happen. And then we can have like hours of just fun together. <laughs> um, so I think that's about it, you guys. I had a really great week, a really great weekend. I'm shaking the camera. Sorry. Halo Top ice cream, super dangerous, super delicious. Um, I don't think I've discovered anything recently as far as food goes. Still been doing a little bit of the protein shake. Today I didn't do very good. Uh, it was like Ugh, clusterfuck at work today. It was such a hot mess. So that was horrible. I don't think I really ate much at all. I'm actually pretty hungry right now. Um, and that's about it. Look at my nails, you guys. Look. Can you see? Focus. Focus. <gasps> look at that. You can totally tell that I did them myself because of the shitty paint job and everything. But look, I just bought these gems on Amazon and was like, how gaudy is too gaudy? There is no such thing in my book. So, I mean, look at the sparkle. Look at the sparkle. I don't know, they're cute, I like them. People are kind of staring at me. I had a manager's meeting at work today and I'm the only one like that I know that is like kind of weird and I'm totally cool with it. Like I'm a little bit eclectic, I'm an artist, like I'm into that, I will embrace it, I will enjoy it, I will love it, but other people will not so much. And like, I feel like I'm a younger, um, not the youngest, like the, my company has young, management but uh, I feel like I'm one of the younger ones and people are just kind of staring at me like we're in banking be conservative and I'm like <laughs> that's not very appropriate is it so anyways I'm gonna go I'm gonna go hang out with my boyfriend it's been really all I will talk to you later have a great night thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing um, and feel free to leave a comment down below if you'd like to criticize me too like that's been going on lately feel free to do so do I not say things the way that you want to hear them do I not look a certain way that you'd like me to look please feel free to let me know come on people anywho I love you guys thank you so much for watching I will see you later bye bye